All right, hellos, welcome back. Uh, we are back in the Minecraft 15 year journey slash 15 year, 15 year anniversary thing here. So yeah, uh, let's jump back in. Let's see, summon baby gas. You can only have two pets. So I think we have enough to get this. Let's go ahead and return this guy and let's summon the baby gas. So cute. What happens if we right click him? Oh, he just sits down on the ground like that. That's so cute and it follows us around. Uh, we've got 12 more stickers we gotta get for the baby creeper. Um, the baby zombie we can do if we want. I like the baby enderman a little bit more though. I think we, a creeper is the last thing we gotta unlock here, so. Yeah, cool. Uh, what does this guy say again? Gift shop. 36 of 53 collected. Alright. I kinda wanna collect them all to be honest. I missed one, uh, in this exploration area. Right there, but we'll have to figure it out. What's this all about? This is where all the cakes go? Oh, the laser Kinda just delivering them. I guess this is where they put the cakes and then the laser helping deliver them to everyone and stuff. That's very nice of them. Pretty cool. All right, um, got a strider over there. <laughs> All right, uh, let's head over to this side and do this one now. Is anyone, oh, that's where they go. Buzzy bees. All right, let's 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 check this area out. Got a whole room just for the bees. Is that, is that what I'm saying here? It's kind of crazy. All right, we got our friend. Our two friends here, so cute, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, all right, let's check out this whole place, huh? Got a little area here, a tiny bit of lag, but we're okay. Um, I thought the signs would say something for a second. And then pottery, that's cool. Uh, let's go to left to the right, though. Left to right, if we can, and see how that goes. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, lots of pots and things. Makes sense, some beehives here. They're gonna get angry. <laughs> uh, I got some like flowers on the roof. Stuff, got some melons. Melon, 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 melon. Uh, all right, what else do we have? Ooh, got some like little areas over here. It's got a villager, a bush. A bush cut into the shape of a villager. That is cool. What is over here, anything interesting? I don't want to see. Doesn't look like it. It's a nice little little tree. Don't mind if they do. Okay. Uh, I guess we should probably go to the middle as well, though. So let's let's backtrack a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> Just kind of checking out the sides. Um, I wonder if there's anything on the other opposite side too. Kind of interesting. Uh, we got some cactus there. That's where we came through already. It's like pretty much demure on this side. Let's actually check it out just in case we miss a sticker though. Okay, yeah, here's something we can read. Let's go ahead and check this out. Crop pollination. So bees uh, buzz from flower to flower. Oh, hello, friend. Uh, gathering pollen before returning to the beehive to produce honey. After pollinating, they can speed up plant growth by flying over them. But beware, their honey is precious to them, and if provoked, you'll find yourself facing a swarm of angry bees. Oh, they can speed up plant growth by flying over them. I had no idea. That is crazy. Wow. Okay, that I didn't know. I'm definitely gonna have to start using that then. <laughs> Got some flowers here. Reach the giant cherry blossom tree to complete the maze. Oh, there's a maze here. Villager maze. All right, um, let's check it out. Villager maze. What have we got in here? All right, it's a villager over there. Oh, hello. <laughs> nice little sheer sound as well, that's pretty cool. Uh, what we got over here? Villagers over here, dead end of course. Cool, cool, cool. I thought the the, the ghast was writing the, oh, hello. Oh my gosh, so much honey there. I thought the gas was writing the Enderman for a second there. I was like, wait a second, that's not legal, is it? Um, I know these are dead ends. I'm just like, I don't want to miss anything though. You know what I mean? Like some stickers that they hide and stuff. All right. Kind of like the the grass being kind of like chess 
almost, where it's like one's white and one's black, or one's light, one's dark. Oh, hello. This seems like a little secret area. What we got here are some mushrooms. Aha! Here's a sticker. Mushroom, nice, good stuff. That's what we like to see. All right. Uh, anyways, let's continue on. Where did we come from? Oh shoot! I think it was this way. Was it this way? Oh god! I think I just got turned around. No, I think I got turned around. I think we were going this way, and then we saw that guy, and we were like, "Oh, let's check it out." Pretty sure this is the way we gotta go. Could be wrong though. Could be wrong. <laughs> Glad I don't have a depleting hunger bar. That's for sure. <laughs> uh oh. What is that? Oh, I thought it was lava. It's honey. Okay, cool. Let me check to see if there's any stickers hidden around here, by the way, first. Got a bit of parkour we could probably do to get up the top. Oh, hello. There you go. There's one. Cherry blossom flower. Nice. Should have just looked up. I would have seen it. Alright. It doesn't really look like I can parkour over here. Oh, maybe. Hold on. There's a game in there, it says. Can I get to this one? Yeah. There any use in going up here? Oh shoot, I fell a little bit. Probably not, but uh, kind of interesting. I like having the option of parkour, you know. I already went to that side. Yeah, I think we're good. I think it's just this game. All right. Um, is there anything else through here? Doesn't look like it. Let's just do this game. All right, let's jump right in. Oh my gosh, that's pretty cool looking though. The hive. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so cool, actually. Hexagons in Minecraft. I like, I like it, actually. Not gonna lie. Oh, there's a sticker over here. Let me get that. Boom, boom. There we go. Nice honeycomb. Nice, nice. I'm assuming if we fall, it's not actually gonna hurt us or anything, right? Yeah, no. Ooh, we get real slow, though, especially in that honey. Uh, what does this say? Honeycomb block made from honeycomb, collected by bees. This block is a key ingredient for crafting beehives and wax and copper. Ooh, crafting beehives. Uh, beehive. The beehive makes a perfect addition to any farm. Let your friendly bumble buddies aid in crop growth and give them a cozy shelter from the rain. Uh, let's see. Bee nest. Nests can house up to three bees. They are protective of their home and ready to, sw to swarm if their precious honey is threatened. Using smoke from a campfire, you can. Uh, can pacify the bees during honey collection. A drowsy bee is better than an angry bee. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I got like, stuck. Uh, what does this one say? Honey block. The honey block has a unique appearance and properties. Um, players can stick to it, leading to some interesting building possibilities and a few sticky situations. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely nice for builds and stuff. Especially like piston type things. Oh, upstairs it looks like there. Okay. Uh, what is this exactly? Buzzy bees. Become the bee. Rack up points by flying from flower to flower, gathering nectar, and returning it to the hive. Stretch your wings and venture out further to earn more points. But watch out, illagers and rain clouds don't make life easy for a bee. Ready, set, buzz. Stretch your wings and venture out further to earn more points, but watch out. Okay. Oh, we got wings? What? That's cool. Oh, wait, we just transformed it to a bee. That's kind of weird. Alright. Uh, nectar. Okay. Watch out for rain clouds, it says. This is where we get nectar, right? No? Flowers. How do we... Oh, collect nectar. There we go. How do we... Okay, right click. Got it. Collected 16 drops of nectar. I'm assuming we have to deposit it at the, um... Little beehives here as well. All right. Let's make sure those villagers don't get to us. I kind of want to just w get full before we venture off anywhere. That's kind of interesting though, I like it. All right, we're full. Let's drop it off at a hive. I think there was one down here. Two actually, I think. No nectar nearby. How do we drop it off? I'm here. How do we drop it off? Full of nectar. 
Um, hello? Hello? How do we drop it off? What the heck? Drop it off at a hive. Um, what? <laughs> Not a hive, I can't go down there, okay. Guy's gonna definitely see us. Don't hurt me, please. Uh, maybe we have to switch off of it and then click or something? No. How do we, how do we get it back? Oh, here, okay. My bad, my bad, <laughs> okay. Interesting. I wonder if, uh, if it's worth going in this middle area. They're not gonna like me for sure. Ooh, that was a big amount. Ew. You know what, you just worry about yourself, buddy. Drops. All right, let's grab this and we'll head back to the hive. We are running out of time, though. I did not realize that the hive was right here. It makes sense, though. All right, that's about all we're going to be able to get because the countdown is about three seconds from now. <laughs> yeah, not terrible, though. We did pretty decent. Open the sticker book to see you inside. Nice, you got the B. Okay, let's head up this way, which I think is the next way to go. Upstairs, I believe. Um, oh, is this another game where... This is where we came out of. Probably where we came out of, I think. Um, let's see. Got some stuff. Oh, that's cute. Hi. Oh, hello. That's parkour. There must be something over here then, right? Ouch. Wither Rose. Oh, right. I jumped into the Wither Rose. My bad. That hurt a little bit. Hurt it a bit. Alright, let's jump on this. Out. Cool. All right, let's uh, continue on then, shall we? Oh, interesting. We just popped right back out over here. Okay, um, let me check out this side and then we'll continue on to the other side. Actually, is there anything over here? Sometimes there do be. Oh, probably shouldn't be back here. <laughs> Anyways, hi friends. I know you guys are trying to swim with me. Alright, I guess that's it, right? The final bit, I believe. Is there, let me, let me double check. Where's the B area? I guess. How many stickers have we got here? Okay, so I did miss one of them. Shoot, where was it? The pants, or that's what it looks like. It looks like pants. Like gardening trousers, trousers or something, maybe? I don't know. Where would that be at? Not over here, right? Not over here. I don't think. Unless they're like hidden somewhere that I didn't see. Got some stuff there. Yeah, I'm not sure actually. Alright, that's fine. We can come back if we need to. I'll maybe like look some stuff up before I finish out the entire map. Um, kind of look up a guide or something so I don't take a million years to figure stuff out. But uh, yeah. Um, let's go ahead into the dimensions. We probably won't finish this one this video, but uh, we'll try to do something. Maybe it won't be too big of a one. I don't know. Alright, let's check it out. <laughs> Hello, friends. Uh, ooh, wow, this is really cool looking. I like those, like, border things, sort of. What happens if we fall here? Or just RIP, or... Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ender Dragon and the Wither right here. Interesting. Try not to fall. So it looks like we can just do either one. Okay. Um, let's do... Let's do this one first, which I'm assuming is going to be the Wither, right? Yeah, it should be. That is really cool looking, though. Wow. I like the glow as well. I like the shine or whatever. Hey, buddies. Oh. <laughs> I 
Interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry, one second. Okay. Uh, what is this exactly? Got like enchanted compass. All right, travel items. Oh, I forgot about these. Yeah, these are kind of new. Um. Let's see. Have you ever found yourself lost in the adventure, delving through tunnels or exploring new biomes, only to realize you can't remember your way home? Well, the lodestone and compass have your back. Um, sorry, one second. Uh, place the lodestone in your base and connect it to your compass. You'll never be lost again. Wait, what did it say? Delving through tunnels, exploring and delving as you can't remember your way home. Lodestone compass have your back. Place the lodestone in your base. Connect it to your compass. Oh, okay. Uh, you'll never be lost again. For those venturing deep into the nether. Okay, so it just like kind of shows you the way for your, towards your base then or something? Uh, for those venturing deep in the nether and respawn, an respawn anchor, ensure your adventures start from the heart of the action, keeping you tethered to your newfound frontiers. With these tools, every journey promises a mostly safe re uh, return. All right, interesting. Okay, let's check that out. All right, what is this exactly? Netherite. Netherite is the new diamond standard. Um, this dark and mysterious material is for forged from ancient debris found deep within the fires of the nether. Fashion it um, to into the strongest tools, weapons, and armor, and you'll truly and you'll be truly unstoppable. All right, yeah, that's the cool stuff there. Let's definitely check out the upstairs real quick, though. Um, I think we can go either side. Probably is, doesn't matter. Let's check out what is upstairs real fast. Uh, what we got here? Got some wither skeletons. Oh, Strider lap. Lava Aquarium. The <laughs> Lava Aquarium, that's kind of cool. Well, the strategies look cool in this. A little baby one bouncing up and down. <laughs> that's funny. A little guy in the mountain. mountain. Guy's cold, these guys are warm. Alright, uh, alright, let's see what else. We got a almost completed withers thing there. Oh, it looks like, like we got another uh, one of these. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> I really like this. Uh, all right, cool. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, the alchemy den. Ooh, this looks really cool. I wish they looked like that normally. Not gonna lie, that'd be kind of cool. Why is everything shaking? I don't know, but we'll just ignore it for now. Um, okay, so potion brewing. Mastering the art of potions and alchemy can turn any humble adventurer into a wizard of wonders. Whether you're brewing potions of strength or to tackle formidable foes, or concocting potions of invisibility to sneak past pesky mobs, the possibilities are in, in, as endless as the ingredients in your cauldron. Did you know that adding redstone to a potion extends its duration? It's like giving your potions a little extra kick. Yeah, it is pretty nice, don't it, isn't it? All right, uh, let's go on to the next area. Let's head back downstairs, and then we'll continue on. It's pretty cool, though. Got the nether star there. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why I'm still shaking, but it's fine, probably. Maybe not. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, anyways, uh, we've got some more of these biomes here. Some, uh, ooh, that's kind of interesting looking. What is that? Um, what is this? Dimension hopping. The nether portal serves as the gateway between dimensions, connecting the overworld and the nether. Here's a bit of trivia. Every eight blocks in the overworld equals one block in the nether. Yep. Streamlining your travel plans. And remember, you're not the only one who can use it. Mobs can wander through too, so don't be surprised if you have an unexpected guest in your, uh, join your adventure, or a curious chicken decides to explore the fiery depths. <laughs> it's always a party in the nether. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Chicken's going back and forth. That's funny, actually. Hogland, is he gonna go through? Yeah, he is. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's move on. Um. Oh my gosh, we have huge gas. All right. Um. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here. We got a little bit more to explore, but we'll get it in the next part. Thank you guys for watching. I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next part, though. All right. Peace.